Ham Radio 2.0, episode 96, part 7. This is my short and quick interview with Kale Nelson from Ham Radio 360. Uh, <laughs> I teased him here, here in a little bit. You'll see, I, I say, I actually got, got Kale on a camera, on video, instead of just audio. So, <laughs> appreciate... Uh, Kale taking the time to talk to me for a few minutes, and um, if you if you're into podcasts and haven't listened to his podcast, go to hamradio360.com. Check out his podcast. You can search his podcast on iTunes and uh, other uh, podcast streaming services as well. And he has a really good podcast that he releases every other week. So let's take a look at this short interview. Hey, man. I got Kale on video. Yes. That's got to be an accomplishment from somewhere, right? It's a face made for radio. <laughs> this is it, bro. This is why <laughs> you only really hear me. Yeah, you know Dan, kb 6 and you. Yes. He says the same thing. Well, he got it from me. <laughs> oh, did he? Okay. I'm claiming it. Yeah, Dan, I'm okay. claiming it. Good deal. All right, man. So, glad to meet you this week. Yes, sir. Nice to meet um, you as well. Finally on, on face-to-face face type to face, thing. Face-to-face, yeah. So, uh, tell us about your... Uh, uh, Ham Ra- tell us about your project. Tell us about okay. anything you want to. Ham Radio 360 so. podcast started out as a really bad joke with a very bad name <laughs> about three, right at three years ago. Okay. And okay. Uh, I created a podcast for some buddies of mine online uh-huh. who we didn't know each other. So we decided, I decided, hey, let's get to know each other with this podcast. Okay. Introducing ourselves as a guest. Yep. And uh, they kept telling me, oh, this is going to be bigger than you think it's going to be. I'm like, nah, this is just us, nah, right? It's, yeah, yeah. It's just so <laughs> uh, it, it got a lot bigger real quick. Yeah. And uh, the, the name was terrible, so we rebranded the name at episode 50. I, I, I saw, I've been subscribed to Richard's emails for years. Right. So I, I saw the first couple emails he sent out, it said Photime Podcast. Yep, yep. I'm like, and yeah. I sat there and thought about it for like 10 minutes. I'm like, I can't figure out where Well, nobody, <laughs> nobody could because it was such a deep inside yeah, joke. Yeah, okay. So we decided to rebrand at episode 50. Okay. And uh, then we came to Hamvention a few weeks later. The KX2 was released. We had some really deep inside stuff yep. from yep. Ella Craft. Yep. We yep. made uh, daily shows to produce, you know, to get out and, and share. Okay. And uh, we, our, our listenership just exploded. I th- and I think a lot of that had to do with the name. I mean, Ham Radio yeah. 2.0, Ham Radio 360. Right. It's right. They got the topic in the title. Right. That the works. Yeah, exactly. So exactly. Uh, we, we did that. And and uh, over half a million downloads later, here we are <laughs> at our second invention. It's really That's exciting. Good. That's good. We That's, launched yeah. the we launched the Workbench podcast. This yep. is stupid successful and really popular. Yeah. yeah. And well, uh, it's way what above my head. About is about building your own stuff, yeah. doing your own projects, yeah. making your own thing. Yeah. No. So, so it's, that's it's, a good one. It's been I a listen, lot of fun. I listened to the first one. Yeah. I haven't listened to anything since that. That's not really my cup of tea. Yeah, me either. So don't tell them though. Yeah. No. No. I won't. No. I won't. But I listen to your stuff all the time. Well, thank, you. So, thank you. So every other Tuesday, yes, you have one come out. Right. And yep. then the opposite Tuesday is when there's is the workbench. Okay. So it's a conversational show one week. Yes. Topical conversational. The next week is deep tech. Okay. And we just ping pong back and forth. Okay. Okay. So it's every Tuesday at specific eight, eight a.m. Eastern is it's eight eight thirty Eastern eight, is when I try to get Eastern. out. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Good deal. So. All right, man. Well, it's good to meet you. Thank you, my friend. I'm glad that uh, we were able to connect up finally. Finally, so. Yeah. So uh, I'm glad. I'm sorry that you weren't in Orlando this year. No, I missed it. So. I had just gotten home from Orlando from another thing. Oh, okay. So I couldn't go back oh, the no, next you week. Went to, yeah, Podfest. What was that? The Podfest. Podfest. Thing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I read about. I had a that, keynote so. down there, and I I missed it. I, I missed actually, the Hemmings. I know the guy. There's a guy in Arlington, Texas, that. Um, this guy's in the way of the camera. The camera's right there, guys. <laughs> it happens. It's not a problem. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's a guy in Arlington, Texas, that runs a, a, a group, a meetup group called Arlington Social Media. Okay. And his name is Gary. I can't remember his last name right yeah, now. Yeah, we, we sat on the board together. Yes. yes. Nice guy. And, and Super when nice I said, guy. Because I've been going to his meetings for like two or three, four months before yeah. PodFest. And when I said something about ham radio, he's like, "Do you know Kale?" I'm yeah, like, he's yeah, he's an awesome guy. He's, he's <laughs> like one, he's like one of the, the granddaddies of podcasts. Yes, yes, he is. And yeah, I think they good. even named a day in Arlington yeah. for him. He's got I his own that's day. Correct. Gary Leland. That's Gary it. Leland. Yeah, yeah, awesome yeah, guy. So, yeah, super deal, super so. good dude. Yeah. All right, man. All right. Well, thank, well, thank you very you, much. Appreciate, appreciate the opportunity. It, appreciate yes, your sir. show and all your hard work. Oh yeah, you too. You too. Yeah. I, I listen to your stuff. It's what we do. So yeah, it's what we do. I enjoy it. Thanks, man. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right. Thanks.
that was episode 96. This one was... I did this one differently because I wanted to do shorter videos. I've been doing some research online about audience viewing of videos, and there's some theories out there that say if you have short videos, if you want to do an episode that's 30 minutes long, split it up into three different 10-minute clips or six different five-minute clips or something like that because audience participation grows um, the shorter the video is. So uh, people will watch a two to three to ten minute video uh, more often than they'll watch a 30 or 45 minute video. So, you know, most of my episodes range between 20 minutes and an hour and 20 minutes, really. Of course, the, uh, the technician and general classes that I put up are three parts each, but they're two to two and a half hours per part. Uh, and that's just a, a necessary evil on those. But I wanted to do this. This uh, this episode was, of course, Dayton Hanvention 2017. I did a lot of interviews. I did some recording of uh, things around the fairgrounds here. Uh, today's Sunday, and it's about to be shutting down here in about two to three hours. Uh, they're going to do the grand prize drawing at 1 p.m. And I wanted to get some extra footage out here and uh, up against the uh, the Dayton Hanvention backdrop that you saw earlier. And I decided to split this one up into multiple segments so that I could say, okay, this segment is Bridgecom Systems. This segment is Buddy Pole. This segment is Kale Nelson from Ham Radio 360. This segment is Radio Sport and all the other ones that I did. And I uh, had a lot of fun at this ham fest. Um, there was, the weather was pretty bad. I didn't ever get a chance to make it out to the flea market. I didn't make it at the flea market because it. I, I saw the flea market on Thursday as everyone was pulling in. I walked through it and it rained that afternoon and it got a little bit soggy out there. And then it's rained every day for at least a little while since Thursday, since we, we got here on Thursday. And it's just, I just never got out there. I never wanted to get out there and get all muddy and get to... Uh, had to have to hassle with the rain and the and the mud and the, the, honestly the only place that it was muddy in the flea market area was where all the trucks had driven in to unload their trailers uh, if you could walk around the tire tracks then it was fine and it drained off pretty good but you know I've never been to a Dayton before where it rained every day usually usually it'll rain one day maybe one night something like that it's rained every day this weekend so i think that hurt some sales from some of the outside guys i was talking to some of them earlier today and they're like yeah they're down from last year but you know storm started about two or three in the afternoon yesterday and never really let up and it was raining when we got here again this morning i know so several people in the flea market that uh, that left and if you go out there now and look uh there's not nearly as many people out there as there was on friday and saturday so the rain definitely caused a problem, uh, but there's nothing you can do about that. You can't predict it. You can't control it. So God's in control, <laughs> and he controls the rain. So um, anyway, other than the rain, which is totally out of the Hamfest chairman's control, I think every, everything went very well. Uh, it was a nice layout. It was a much newer facility than the Hera Arena, and it was... Uh, a good show overall. Uh, I'd like to see a couple of improvements in some small places. Uh, the traffic situation, I think they kind of fixed after the first day. They started bringing the bus in a different route, I'm told, and it didn't take as long to get in. But, um, you know, they've, they've probably got a few things to tweak for next year, but, you know, I, I think overall this was a very, very successful ham fest, and I'm happy that I was here. So, 73 guys, if you found me on YouTube, go hit up my website at livefromthehamshack.tv, or you can go to hamradio2.com, hamradio, the number 2.com. You can see all 96 episodes, including this one. I'm going to have three more episodes coming up after this one. 97, 98, 99 will be forums from the Dayton Hamvention that I recorded. And then, of course, uh, the record-breaking episode 100 will follow that, and I'll be doing another giveaway. So stay tuned. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, go out to Facebook and find me there. Go out to Twitter and find me there. And um, thanks to everybody who took the time out to uh, let me do a small talk with you at Dayton, and I hope to see you next year. 73.